You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports 2. Well, unfortunately, I had a feeling I'd sniffed this out a couple of years ago that this could be coming down the pipeline, and it looks like this is starting to gain some steam. Now, in case you guys didn't know, the league voted they wanted flex scheduling for Thursday night football. They want The league wants better games for that Amazon package they got. Now, of course, that puts a tremendous strain on NFL fans. It seems like the league just doesn't give a shit about that. They care about the TV product. Better watch out what you're doing, NFL. Mark Cuban made a comment that a lot of people went, mm, that seems ridiculous about the NFL at some point getting too big for its britches. And now comes this idea that's steamrolling down the pipeline. I've heard Florio bring this up again, and he's uh, uh, before, and he's bringing it up again. The idea, and look, this started coming out during the COVID thing. During COVID, the NFL had a Tuesday night game, had a Wednesday night game, under the veil, of course, of, oh, teams got to make up games, scheduling's got to move around. But, make no mistake, it allowed the NFL to test run NFL on Tuesday night and Wednesday night. Guys, that's eventually going to happen. I mean, we got flex scheduling. They voted it down, but they voted it down. They need 24 votes for it to pass. It got 22. Two rode the fence, Carolina, Broncos. Now, What that means is, look, Carolina and the Broncos now have leverage over Roger Goodell. They want something. Many think the Broncos would love to have the draft. You see how this works now? How this politics works? Uh, We got some comments from John Mara, the Giants owner, about this Thursday night thing. And let's look at this first before we get to John Mara slamming Thursday night flex scheduling. Guys, that's coming. They've already voted, and they're going going to allow uh, sh- two games, I believe it is now, to be played on "quote unquote" shorter uh, weeks. And and the commissioner's already made a comment about it has no physical health effect on the players. Not a lot of people's buying that, um, but this is where the league wants to go. Nonetheless, this is Florio. The NFL's decision to compel teams to play up to two short week games per year and its sudden progress towards allowing late season Thursday games to be moved to Sunday and vice versa carries a deeper message. The the expanded use of short weeks and the inclination to shuffle games from Thursday to Sundays and Sundays to Thursday suggest a not too distant future in which the NFL stages weekly games on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and perhaps even eventually Friday and Saturdays. If the league continues to adhere to the notion that football played on short rest is no more dangerous than football played on normal rest, it's just a matter of time before the league insists that no impact on player health and safety by hopscotching the scheduling of games around the various days of the week. Quote, I think we have the data that's very clear. Commissioner Roger Goodell told reporters at the league meetings regarding playing on Sunday and then on Thursday. Quote, it doesn't show higher injury rates, but we recognize shorter weeks. We went through this in COVID too. We had a lot of flexibility in those areas. All right, now Florio brings up the same thing. I just talked about COVID. The reference to COVID is the biggest clue that Tuesday and Wednesday football is coming. Since the changes necessitated by the pandemic resulted in games being played on those two rarely used days of the week, if the league plans to hang its hat on the contention that only three days off between games isn't a health and safety concern, then four and five days off between games isn't a concern either. It will complicate the scheduling process for the NFL, but it will be worth it in the league's view. 
to pull games from the cluster of 1 p.m. Eastern kickoffs and move them into standalone primetime windows that gather millions of live viewers. The NFL may stop at, may not stop at Tuesday and Wednesday. Although the league's broadcast antitrust exemption hinges on not televising games on Friday nights or Saturdays between Labor Day weekend and the middle of December, the very real question of whether the Sports Broadcasting Act of 1961 even encompasses the league's pivot to streaming will eventually require a tweak to the law. If it's expanded to expressly include four pay internet-based broadcast, why not slide away from arguably an outdated obsession with protecting high school and college football against the NFL infringement? Well, I'll tell you what that problem is. The Friday night game could start at 9 p.m. Eastern, giving high schools a chance to work around that window if they so choose. Or if a high school game is being played at a time when an NFL game is televised, the folks attending the high school game can watch the pro game on their phone. For Saturdays, it would be one game and only one game also played at night. College football all day, pro football from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern. Then the late night West Coast college game after that to end the game in the day. College football might not appreciate it, but college football surely didn't like it when the NFL took over Thursdays, which once upon a time featured meaningful, meaningful NC2A contest. As the NFL gets larger and more successful, it feels as if nothing will stop it from blasting through any and all arguments and impediments to doing whatever it wants. And if the NFL wants to stage a primetime game every night of the week, from week one through week 18, the NFL will. Is it good for players? Is it good for in-stadium fans? The fact that the NFL shrugs at those concerns regarding expansion to multiple Sunday to Thursday turnarounds and the looming adoption of Thursday night flexing already answers the question of whether the NFL cares about such matters. They don't, guys. They do not care about the fans having to come to the game. Now, the Giants owner, John Mara, much to his credit, he ripped this shit to pieces. He did. The NFL owners meeting had been going on this week in Arizona. NFL football, or New York football, has made some waves during this time. Giants John Mara ripping the league's Thursday night football flex scheduling proposal was just the latest. Let's listen to this. Our season ticket holders to be in the floor stadiums every week. Um, people have gotten used to going from Sunday afternoon to Sunday night. That doesn't mean that they like it. This year, um, we can be flexed to Monday night, which I think is really inconsiderate to our, our ticket holders. But to flex a game back to Thursday night, to me, is just uh, abusive. And I am adamantly opposed to it. Um, I think it, it didn't get, unfortunately, didn't get enough votes uh, today, but I'll probably revisit it in, in May. I mean, he's just saying he's, he's adamantly opposed to it. it. He's adamantly opposed. This is coming in response to Amazon Prime's TNF viewership declining significantly towards the end of the season. The proposal also would call for teams to be notified 15 days ahead of time if the game is flexed. Mara can see the benefits from that, a viewer standpoint, but it doesn't mean he likes it. People make plans to go to these games weeks and months in advance to 15 days ahead of time to say, sorry, folks, that game you were planning on taking your kids to on Sunday at 1 o'clock, it's now going to be Thursday night. Thursday night. I mean, what are we thinking about? Question mark. I suppose it would increase viewership, but at some point, can we please give some consideration to the people coming to these games? I understand the ratings towards the end of the year on Amazon were down a little bit. We probably had some bad matchups. Let's pick better matchups. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a fact. Man, this is headed down a, a crazy road. But I knew when they, when they had that Tuesday game in the NFL, Tuesday, um, 
NFL football rating. Let me see if I can find that. Here it is right here, um, and I won't even show it to you guys, but Tuesday night foot. This was the headline two years ago. Tuesday night football tops Monday night football. Tuesday's Bills-Titans NFL regular season game, which was originally scheduled for Sunday, averaged 10.80 million viewers on CBS. Down from the previous week's primetime matchup on CBS, Patriots on Monday Night Football, 14.60. Uh, but it beat, guys, it beat the previous night's Chargers-Saints game, 10.69 million. So that Tuesday night game, uh, and I can just show it to you right there. That's the that's the Monday night game's viewership. That was the Tuesday night game viewership. So it was it was bigger. It was bigger on Tuesday night. Now the previous week, and a lot of this had to do with matchup, because at the time the Titans were good, and of course the Bills were good. So it was a damn good game on Tuesday night. I got to admit, I kind of enjoyed the Tuesday night game, to be honest with you. I don't know why. It seems like I'm busier on Monday. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Uh, but this is getting to be ridiculous, and it's ridiculous because of the fans that are trying to go to these games. John Mayer is right. The NFL is, number one, what makes the NFL great versus the NBA and the MLB is there's not as much of it. Okay, it's not saturated. It's not every night. There's no way in hell I can watch a primetime NFL game every single night. I mean, it's just it's just ridiculous. And I don't like it creeping in. I'm gonna tell you, here in Texas, people are not people are not going to watch the NFL. They're going to go to high school football. I mean, in the South, high school football on Friday nights is tradition and people will get up and go to high school games and forego the nfl and i'm gonna tell you actually a lot of people like college football here more than they like the nfl too the ratings around the country they don't reflect that because they're not as big college football fans in new york and in california as they are here like in the south right but bama university of texas all these places, yeah, a lot of people care about their college football in the South more than they do the NFL. The NFL better be careful. <laughs> they better be really careful here. Roger Goodell is about to get another contract, by the way. It, all of this is because of Amazon's ratings shit in the bed at the end of the year. But that Tuesday and Wednesday thing, it was as soon as they figured out they could pull it off during COVID, this was something they were going to look at. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.